Hey guys, it's D here. Finally got it up and going. Can almost breathe, almost get rid of this cold. Here's a few of the ideas you guys all came up with. I really appreciate your input. I changed the, uh, got one of those lugs. One of the guys are recommended. Comes straight off the bus. Got it secured to the, the board. And then I picked up, I took that wire down to Lowe's that I got it from and showed the guy. And he cut me another piece to replace those damaged ones, so I went ahead and stuck with a number 10 wire coming off of the uh, bus and has that run back up. Soldered it in real good. Did a serious wiggle test on it. Everything's fine. We're running about uh, one amp uh, draw off the primary. Everything's still the same thing coming off of the, uh, the potentiometer. And then uh, I went ahead and got those one of those grounding lugs that you put in the in a sub panel in the house and uh, each connection has its own individual slot and it makes it a lot easier they need to pull something in and out and it's not using those little crimp, crimp connectors like those right there they're right here on this edge here and I'll eventually get rid of all those but uh, it's running pretty good but I had to put the uh, amp meter back in there from all the other electrical problems there, uh, it blew that 5 amp meter, so I just got a 3 on there now. And uh, I haven't uh, played with the uh, position on the uh, trigger run coil. It's dead center, uh, like all the other ones, so RPMs are up as high as they usually are, but at least we're back up and running. Alright guys, we'll catch you later. Have a good one.